Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plans, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be doing a cash envelope stuffing for both my cash envelopes and sinking funds. All right, so here I use a mini happy planner to house all of my envelopes. Um, here is a cash slip that I received as a freebie from a uh, Etsy shop called Probs Budgeting, and it looks like this. This is where I purchase my um, shorter envelopes and then my bigger envelopes I purchased from Maury June. She's also a YouTuber. Feel free to check out her videos. She is awesome at this and I love watching her videos. Okay, so I am going to set this aside really quickly. Take out my fix my money to be facing the right way because that's how I like to see it. And let me just lay this down or separate it out. So we got some hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens, and fives. Okay, so in previous videos, I break down what I put into my um, cash envelopes and sinking funds. And first, we're going to start with my gas fund. And for this, I like to add $200 once a month. So I'm going to take my wet erase marker by Expo that I purchased from Walmart. And this is sold as a variety pack, so it comes with multiple colors. But of course, I wanted to use the black one. So today is January 10th, and I'm going to be adding $200. And this is a really good number for me for all my commuting. Um, if I know I'm doing any long traveling, I will add more money if I think it's necessary. But usually I fall under this $200 budget and that's how um, I'm able to roll over some money from my cash envelopes to pay towards debt. So usually it comes out of this envelope because I don't really go over this $200 amount unless I'm doing like a lot of traveling. But I haven't been doing a lot of traveling lately and I don't currently have any plans to do any traveling driving wise. So we're going to add in $200. And for this, I like to take 140 and 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. And then 60 and 10. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. Double check. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I usually need like $30 a week, if that. So that's why I'm usually below um, $200. That wasn't always the case, but Recently, uh, my budget, sorry, my spending for gases has dramatically decreased. All right, next is groceries. And for groceries, um, I am adding $400. So again, 110. Adding $400 and we'll have a total of $400. And the reason why these two were already at zero is because, as I mentioned in a previous video and this one, I do like to roll over um, access money into my um, debt snowball envelope. And then I'll use that to make a payment on my debt, which I did on January 4th for $101. And I do have a video posted showing me paying debt on my student loans. Okay, so for groceries, I want to add $400. And 
I believe I pulled out all 50s for this. So if it doesn't work out towards the end, I'll make, um, I'll rearrange the money. But I believe I pulled out all 50s for this. So 50s, 1, 152, 250, 3, 354. One, two, three, four. So $400 for groceries for this month. And this is just my contribution to groceries. We do spend more than this on a monthly basis, but that's just my contribution. Next is household. For household, I like to add $75. One ten seventy five totaling seventy five. Okay, so twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, and seventy five. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy five. For household, I use this budget for, or this money for like toilet paper, paper towels, dish racks, dish soap, cleaning products, light bulbs, anything I need for the house. So it that comes out of household. Next is laundry. For laundry, I budget $50 a month. Normally, we don't use the entire $50. Um, occasionally, we will, and that's usually when we need to buy or re-up on detergent. So when we don't need to re-up on detergent, we, we're normally under the $50. So this is another fund that usually gets rolled over into a debt snowball payment. And for laundry, I like to use all tens at the um, laundry mat. We get a laundry card and we just um, add money to it to re-up the card. So tens, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, that is the end of my cash envelopes. Now to sinking funds. And the first one is vacation, which is a new fund for this year and this month. So for vacations, I am starting out doing a hundred and fifty dollars. So today one ten, I'm going to add one fifty, and the total will be one fifty. Okay, so for that I'm just going to take a hundred and a fifty. Oops, let me get that. All right, so I have my 100 and my 50. Add that to the envelope. And vacation is funded. Next is self-care. Self-care, I like to do 30. So I'll just take a 20 and a 10. Actually, Self-care currently has $27. All right. One ten. Thirty. So I have fifty-seven dollars. Next is pets. For pets, um, pets is another fund that I do roll over for debt towards my debt snowball because I normally keep $40 here. Um, this is the only sinking fund that I cap at $40 because I never need more than $40 or close to it. Sometimes I fall under. So when I do fall under $40 for the month, I will roll that over to debt because all I really need for my cats is cat food, wet or dry and cat litter and then other than that the cats take care of themselves so they're not really expensive to have um so i just keep the budget at 40 
And if I don't use it, I'll roll it over to that. So for them, I will be adding in two 20s. So one ten, next is car maintenance, car maintenance currently has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and I'm going to be adding in 40, so 120. 140 and I use this for oil changes tire repairs any type of car repairs that come up so if it doesn't cover the entire maintenance um, price I would just use what I have and then add to it if necessary but so far so good haven't had to touch this fund in a while so fingers crossed so I am adding in 40 and I have a total of 140. Next is gifts. And for gifts, I currently have $20 and I'm going to add in another 20 to total 40. Gifts is the fund that I use to buy people gifts for their birthdays or if um, I'm invited to a baby shower or a wedding party or something like that, I will use the gift fund to buy a gift. And this fund is in the process of building back up. So hopefully before I need to use it, I can get to like $60 or something. But right now we're at 40. Next is eating out. And this fund is currently at zero because we just um, spent the money that's in there. So we're going to add $25. All right. Oh, and that was actually last night we spent the money. <laughs> so plus 25, total 25. Next is my 30th birthday. I wanted to start early on saving for my birthday just so I could do something extra special since I'll be turning the big 3-0. I currently have $40 and I was going to just add on $40 each time, but I decided to bump that up to $100. So I'm going to take this 100 to add it in and I'll have a total of 140. Plus 100, total 140. Next is car registration. Um, for registration, I currently have $25 in here. I'm going to add another 25 to total $50. My goal is to reach 75, and once I do, this fund will be retired until next year because my car registration is due every March. So in February, I should reach that amount and be done with this cash envelope until I need to make the payment in March and then I will retire it to where it's the back until I need it again. So plus 25 equals 50. And then last but not least is home projects. In a previous video, I explained that I wanted to save money for home projects to just do little um, functional organizing around my house so that it's just more organized, more functional, and just, you know, jazz it up a bit. I've been living here for a year, so it's not like there's a whole lot to do because the home was fully remodeled before moving in. 
Um, so this is just, just to have a little bit of fun. I do intend on one of my bedrooms, I want to turn into a room closet. And so I'm going to do some DIY stuff and then also purchase some um, different furniture pieces. Like from Ikea, I want the um, PAX wardrobe system. And then also I want to update my office, like get a new computer desk, chair, maybe invest into a new um, laptop and a printer and things like that. So for this, I am going to be putting in $50 a month. And this is also a new category for this year. So 110 plus 50, totaling 50. Okay. So the next envelope is for my um, debt snowball. And if I have money left over in my cash envelopes, which would be the first four, gas, groceries, household, or laundry. And also one sinking fund, sinking fund, which is the pets category. I also roll over that to debt. I will put it here when it's in cash form and then I will deposit it into the bank. If I have any rollover money that's like for my personal, which I keep some of it in the bank and I also take out some in cash. So if it's already in the bank, it's in the bank. Um, and then anything in cash form, I will save in this envelope. But it's currently empty because I did make a payment already. On the, I rolled it over on the 4th, but I made the payment. Did I make it on the 7th? I think I made the payment. No, I made the payment on the 6th and I scheduled it for the 10th. I mean for the uh, 7th. But I wrote down one for here because this is the date I actually put the money in the bank. After that, I have some sinking funds that's currently not in use, use, which is for my babe's birthday, miscellaneous, lawn care, and Christmas. All right, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.